Good morning. Happy Wednesday, uh, March the 6th. Um, I hope you're having a good morning so far, and I hope you had a good evening last night. And thank you for tuning in once again to Mother Sanity. Um, today's scripture is about friends. Um, and it says, Friends move in and out of your life. Addresses change, opportunities emerge, and interests intersect, and then drift in opposite directions. Yet that doesn't make the friends that you have along the way obsolete. There's still people who have played a part in your life and in your heart. Why not reconnect with an old friend today? You have to remember and care. It could be the best thing that has happened to someone in a long time. Now that's a good idea. I like that. You know, over the years, as we get older, we kind of lose touch with friends, you know, high school friends, college friends, friends after college. Um, and it would probably make somebody's day if you just called out of the blue and said, Hey, um, I know we haven't talked or spoken a long time or seen each other a long time, but I was just kind of thinking about you and what do you say we get together? Um, you can make somebody's day. You never know what they're going through in their life and that can maybe be what they needed to, to help them get through what they're going through is reconnecting with an old friend. Um, so that, you know, that's a good idea. So I know, you know, I have friends from high school and college on my Facebook, and that's how we keep in touch. Um, and then I've had friends that I've made throughout my marriage. Um, and I, I feel like each friend that you have in your life is there for a purpose. You know, even if they're not a lifelong friend or they're your friend just for a short period of time, I, I feel that friends are put in our life for a reason. Um, so it would just be good to reconnect with someone, you know, that you haven't spoken to or seen in a while and, you know, just say, hey, just, I'm just thinking about you today. Um, the prayers I have for you today are, Father God, give me the fortitude and the strength to conquer whatever comes my way. I will expect nothing less than excellence from this day forward. Remove my anger and contentment from my heart that prevents me from loving those deserving of it. May your grace and mercy forever surround me. I will let no one discourage me from being the leader you have created me to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I like that because, like I said yesterday, you know, things may be said to you or you may have said things to people that you can't take back. Um, but through love and mercy that God shows us, we should also show people the same. And... You know, I have big dreams, and there's lots of people that tell me, Brandy, there's just no way that that's going to happen or work out, or you're just being silly. But I feel that, you know what, if God has put this dream on my heart, then eventually in His timing it will happen. So, and my dreams have changed over the years. And so, you know, when I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher, and then when I signed up for college courses, for some reason, I got scared and I changed my mind and I ended up doing nursing school. Well, my first child was born three months early and was in the NICU and came home with a feeding tube. So I believe that God changed my mind about the teaching thing to get to go to nursing school to help deal with my first child being in the NICU and being so premature and little and coming home on a feeding tube and knowing how to deal with that and things like that. So I feel that your dreams are going to change, but the ones that don't, or the, even the new ones, if you honestly feel 100% in your heart that that's what God has for you or wants you to do or achieve, then don't let anybody tell you. Nobody knows but you and God if that's what you're meant to do. So don't let anyone discourage you from doing what you feel you need to do. And then the next one is, Father, give me the endurance I need to parent my children well in all circumstances. Oh boy, do I need this every day. Um, like I said, I have four kids, 13, 10, 8, and 5, two boys, two girls. And yes, my girls drama, and my boys fight all the time. So, um, I, you know, my husband and I have a big challenge on we're trying to raise them to be respectful and independent and know how to do things for themselves, but also feel loved. So, 
you know, in this world today, there's a lot of kids who are spoiled little disrespectful brats. Um, that's just the way our society is going. And we're, my husband and I are trying to raise our kids that that's, that's not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to respect people and show respect. Um, say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, you're not just going to lay around doing nothing. You're going to, you know, do your part. You need to, um, study hard in school, be nice to others, clean up your mess, you know, things like that responsibility so that when they turn 18 and they move out that my husband and I can feel confident that we raised these children right. So I like that prayer every day because like I said, I need that prayer every day because it's a challenge sometimes when I just want to go in my room and just cry and, you know, and I'm like, God, just please give me the strength to do this um, and teach them what you need me to teach them. Um, I have two quotes for you today from Pinterest because I couldn't decide um, between the two, so I'm going to read both. Um, the first one is, at the end of the day, you can focus on what's tearing you apart or you can focus on what's keeping you together. I like that because I used to always focus on the negative. I used to always, you know, worry and stress, and I still do. <laughs> but I'm trying, what I'm trying is to focus on the silver lining, the positive, um, and not focus, because focusing on the negative is not going to do anything. It's not going to help the situation. It is what it is. And if it's not something that's fixable, you just got to push yourself through. So let's just, like I said yesterday, let's focus on positivity in our lives because there's so much negativity in the world. We don't, don't need to add to any of the negativity. Let's try and add to being positive. Um, the next one is God desires to take your broken pieces and put them back together into something more beautiful and useful, better than ever before. And I like that because I feel we are all broken in some way, whether it be in our past, our childhood, our present. Um, we've all been hurt. We've all had bad things and wrong things happen to us. And I've stopped asking why. I've stopped trying to r rationalize and reason, why did this have to happen to me when I was younger? Why did I have to go through this? Why, why is this happening now? And I've realized that, you know what? Only God knows. And we'll, most stuff will probably never understand the reason behind it. But I have come to realize that some of the things that I did question a long time ago, like why did that happen to me? Why did I have to go through that? I don't understand. Now, years later down the road, I can see that it made me a better person. It made me a stronger person. It made me a more cautious person. Um, I can honestly, when somebody's coming to me and talking to me and saying, hey, Brainy, you know, this happened, I'm going through this, and I don't know how to deal with this, and, you know, if it's something that I've gone through, I, I feel better about offering advice or just offering a hug or an ear, and even to know, that person to know that I've been through it, then it can make them feel maybe a little better, like, okay, they're not alone. And so I feel maybe God does that sometimes. He puts you in a spot where he wants you to be. So I don't, I don't think that there's any mistakes in life as far as where you are or what happened. There's a reason for everything. And so um, we may not like it when we're going through it. We may not understand it. But maybe later on down the road we can understand it. Or we can help somebody through the same problem. So um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.